Lorraine and welcome to Victoria Moon Tarot. I hope you're doing really, really well. Today's pick a card is how is your person seeing you right now? But it's a little different today because I don't know if you've seen the beginning of the video where I chose three different piles with the star signs. What I want you to do is refer to the star sign of your person. Also, you can also refer to your own star sign as well to get messages as well. Or you can choose your pile intuitively, whichever is up to you. I'll leave it down to you for this one. So we've got Leo, Pisces, Gemini, Sagittarius for reading number one. Virgo, Aquarius, Aries, Libra for reading number two. Capricorn, Scorpio, Taurus and Cancer for reading number three. So today I'm asking you to choose your person's star sign. If you know the star sign, a sun sign, um... Also, if you don't know their star sign, you can choose your own star sign or you can do both. So I'm leaving it up to you or you can pick your pal intuitively from the picture or just your intuition as well. OK, should we get going? So how does your person see you right now? Please choose your person's star sign, your star sign. You can do a mixture of both. Um, if you've got more than one person, please, you know, <laughs> refer to that star sign as well. Or choose your pile intuitively. I'll leave it up to you. See what your readings. Timestamps are in the description box as well. Hello, all of you that chose pile number one, reading number one for Leo, Pisces, Gemini, Sagittarius. And those of you who chose the star sign or your star sign, or um, if you chose your pile intuitively as well, this is reading number one for you. Please let me know in the comments section if you like the choices today, or if you want me to do uh, more pick cards, include, you know, with the astrology signs thought I'd do a little bit di something different today as well. Ooh, I've just moved my lights a little bit because <laughs> the light was shining a little bit on the cards there. Okay, so how is your person seeing you right now? Ooh, that one wanted to come out. The Four of Coins. The King of Pentacles. Four of Wands. Whoa. We have a lot of yellow. <laughs> a lot of yellow going on. That means the person's very, very happy. Um, they want you to rely on them, I'm feeling. It's the first intuitive thought I got. Because you've got a King of Pentacles and then you have this Nine of Pentacles. It feels like your person knows that you are, you know, you're beautiful, you're self-sufficient, you're clever, you are okay in your own right, which means you're comfortable in your own situation. But sometimes I'm getting that feeling and looking at your cards that your person wants you to kind of rely on them or let them take a little control sometimes. Now, this is interesting because you've got the security of the Four of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles. Your Four of Wands often is, can be a twin flame card, but can be um, a card of marriage. So, I think your person is uh, either thinking your marriage material, perhaps they're, they're not sure that you're ready. They might think that you're too independent. Maybe you don't want to get married, but they may want to be, they might be quite traditional. This person could be older than you as well. Um, with the, um, with the um, energies here, we've got a lot of yellow. So I know they're happy and contented and with you. Uh, they think you're very beautiful, by the way, but I'm getting that feeling that they want to look after you or... They want you to rely on them or different scenario that I'm picking up is the fact that they, you know, they want to be secure. 
you know, they want a life with you, but they want financial security, they want success. But if you've got a king, that means this person is asking you, asking, look, rely on me. I'm there for you. Um, don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. Um, that's what I can see with your spread. So they think you're the bee's knees, basically. <laughs> okay, let's get a few more oracle cards for you. Oh, we've got getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Oh, has some of you, some of you relatively new here? Could be. You know, we've got the getting to know each other card. So maybe you, your person is just realising that there's a spark. That It's like they want to look after you and they already know it. Is what I'm feeling as well. Let's get a few more oracle cards. We've got a cuckoo outside the window today. It is, it's quite loud. We've got house of cards. Take a chance. Risk being strategic. Options not showing hand and gambling. They're going to take a chance on you, definitely. So they're willing to they're willing to take the risk on you. That I feel like they're hoping that you're the, feeling the same way about them as well. This is very reliable energy, I have to say. Or am I seeing a spread of them asking you to take a chance on them because you're a pretty strong lady there you've got someone who's very self-sufficient um who's got their own you know successful in their own right they're asking you to sort of let them take a little bit of a lead so is what i'm feeling here let's get more cards thinking you may be on someone's mind oh I think they're thinking about you I think that they're very much prioritizing you I think they fancy the pants off you you may work together I have to say or there's you um there's work in common you know as well that could be even be your boss <laughs> okay let's have a look let's get more let's get more it's on. Oh, I see you looking good and moving on. Oh, I don't care who you're talking to. I'm better. I will compete for you. Wow. I'm going to get a few of these. Let's have a look what situation, because you could all be in different situations here. Let. Okay, let's get another card. Soon. I'm coming to, con oh, sorry, I'm going to contact you soon. Hey, I'm soon. I'm going to contact you soon. You're my soulmate. It must be written in the stars because you most definitely are my destiny. We belong together. I know that they want you. Just by the cards, it's like, you know, they want you. They want you to focus on them, though. It's kind of like, um, recognize me. I'm the king. <laughs> I'm, you know, not, I'm not seeing like I'm in charge or anything like that. I'm seeing um, more, I want to look after you, nurture you. Okay, let me see. Opening up. I like the flowers. Beautiful. I'm getting ready to say what is in my heart. I know that this is love. It's true. Unconditional and every sorry and everlasting kind of love. I want you to know I am trying to open up, but it's so hard for me to get my feelings for you into words. But I know I have to do this, and you need to hear them. So you might get someone who is definitely, you know, wanting to say things to you, wanting to open up their heart space to you here as well. Wow. Okay, that's uh, that's very sweet, isn't it? So I know your person is kind of asking them, like, for, for you to let them take a little bit of this control or spirit is saying to you to let them take a little bit of the control. Maybe let them chase, you know, you let them chase you a little bit. Okay, I hope that's okay for you guys. And um, thank you so much for listening. Don't forget to subscribe. Give the video one of these. Thank you so much. Take care till next time. Bye. Hello my lovelies, welcome back to your reading, those of you who chose Capricorn, Scorpio, Taurus and Cancer, which was pile number two. Um, for those of you who chose by person star sign, your star sign, um, 
or intuitively. Okay, let's have a look how they're seeing you right now. What's going on? Let's have a look what's going on. Oh, the star card's reversed here. Oh, okay. The Queen of Pentacles is reversed. I already didn't get that feeling that you're not happy with this person. They've disappointed you with that page of cups. Um... It's almost like, well, I know when I've got a star card in reverse, they haven't been making you a priority. Um, I don't know who's been making, almost like you feel like you've been ignored in some way by this person. Um, there's arrogance with the star card in reverse sometimes. I need to put this all together for you. The Queen of Cups... Um, I don't know whether you're both being as stubborn as each other. It's like you're not hearing from this person. So why should you make the effort there? So they've disappointed you. If you've got a page of cups in reverse, I know they've disappointed you in an emotional way. But I'm trying to figure out where the Ace of Wands is here. Because it feels like I'm... Uh, am I seeing the energy of you thinking of reaching out to them? Like breaking the, the silence or breaking the blockade. <laughs> as I put the stubbornness. Um, but it's like, why should I when they haven't been making it the effort for me? Um, they could be quite just lazy, you know. I See if they're, I'm just going to look if they are distracted or if they're just lazy right now. Oh, okay, that's interesting because we've got somebody who's being burdened here as well. So are they, I'm just going to pull out some clarification cards here. So they might just be, are they telling you they're busy and they're, they're working and they're busy and they're burdened? Because that's what the Ten of Wands can be. Stress, exhaustion, too many things going on. The Justice card can come out sometimes when somebody, um, you know, maybe want, I don't know whether you are thinking of trying to get your own back in some way, like not messaging them, not giving them any attention as well. It feels like you're both being as stubborn as each other, even though I, I want to go, I want to go, they started it. <laughs> it's like they did this. Um, yeah, it's not, I think that you're, I feel like you're looking for um, attention and from this person or passion or a spark of some kind is what you're after and you're not getting it from them. Um, cancer, Capricorn, Scorpio, Taurus, Cancer. Um, yeah, I'm getting that vibe of stubbornness or, um, things not going your way with them at the minute as well, but they're seeing you as, uh, maybe being quite stubborn as well, and it's almost like you're not agreeing and you're not on the same page as this person and you're not agreeing with everything, um, I'm wondering who's trying to get their own back, you know, it's like trying to get their justice there as well. It's like the feeling I'm getting is that they feel you're not understanding what they're saying and you're not being understanding towards them. Um, and you're being quite stubborn and um, sometimes a little bit over them a little bit as well. Um, that's not coming from me, so don't, don't, uh, don't, don't, uh, you know, <laughs> don't be horrid to me. It's only what I can see and what I can tell you right now. Let me have a look. Okay, we've got mask. So we've got not showing true feelings, hide, personify, pretend, delude and gaslighting. So I don't know if any of that's been going on and it kind of resonates with you, some of these. When I'm looking at these, maybe a false mask was put on. It's like, I don't know whether your person was smiley and then you realised they were quite miserable or maybe you were putting on that false mask of being happy when deep down inside you were really annoyed or not happy with their behaviour at times. Yeah, it's a little bit triggering, a little bit complicated, this reading I'm feeling. Let's get some more oracle cards for you. Okay, let me have a look. We've got finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Now, is that what it is with the burdens? Because it's like, are they working? It's like they've got so much to do and they're always saying they're working and they've got loads to do and I'm doing this and doing that. Or some of them, maybe they're talking about money and um, they've got lots of to do. I think, mate, I'm getting that feeling that you're sick of hearing that, even as an excuse as well. 
It's like that's what they always keep saying to me. Um, I think some of this is using it as an excuse, I have to be honest. Okay, let me see. We have unclear. I don't know how I feel about this connection anymore. Okay. Um, let me see. So they're not sure about things. I'm trying to make this work, but I feel so lost. I don't know what to do or say anymore. And it's easier just to stay silent. Ah. So they don't know what to do then here okay we've got tears when I think about you I cry do you know <laughs> I was about to say before I pulled that card out you know that could be related to there because Cancerians are pretty emotional most of the time uh, so we've got Taurians who are known for stubbornness Scorpios are known for hiding their feelings Capricorns can be stubborn as well and quite analytical. Cancerian's the one. I'm, when I was reading, I thought, so, but I'm a bit shocked at the Cancerian one because they're usually quite soft. Um, okay, one more card from this deck. We've got Ghosted. I'm sorry I disappeared. I need to get away and clear my head. So there's a lot of silence here. So I don't know whether that's what's been going on with the star card in reverse. And so maybe you feel like they, you know, that you're being ignored by this person. So they just, they're not doing so well. <laughs> that's what I can see. Perhaps I've just given you a little bit of clarity of what this person is like, um, you know, trying to tell you. And maybe it just feels like they can't or just don't know how to say it, possibly. Okay. Okay, we've got illusion. Remember that separation is an illusion. We are always together. Okay, we are drawn together by faith. Trust your intuition. I am working hard behind the scenes to, sorry, to heal and reach out to you soon. Stay strong for me. I am coming back home. So is this card telling me that they just need to sort themselves out and their behaviour? Possibly. Okay. So maybe all is not lost. I feel for, you know, for some of you, for others, I feel like they just, maybe they can't juggle everything, you know. That's not your fault, by the way. But they, maybe, um, they, I'm going to be honest, the feeling I'm getting is overall energy is maybe for some of you, they feel like you're, you know, they can't give you exactly what you need right now. You might be demanding from them and it's kind of, excuse me for saying like pissed you off a little bit, but they're not prioritizing you and disappointing you emotionally as well. Um, I kind of feel like sometimes they do use work as an excuse though for, for others. It's like they may be using as an excuse to kind of, uh, because they're not doing so good themselves and they can't deal with things. It's like I'm using, I will use work as an excuse. You know, I'll use I'm busy. I've got to do something as an excuse. So just watch out for that as well because I kind of felt it for some Okay, my lovelies, I'm sure, um, let me know in the comment section if this is resonating. There's a little triggering here for this reading, but I have to read what's in front of me. Please be nice in the comments, I didn't say these things. <laughs> Thank you so much, my lovelies. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on the bell. More like this are coming and watch out for my collective readings also. Thank you, my loves. Take care till next time. Bye. Hello to those of you who chose reading three. We've got Virgo, Aquarius, Aries and Libra. For those of you that chose your person star sign or your own for this. Or if you just went to the pile intuitively, that's fine also. Perhaps you don't know your person's um, star sign at all. Okay. Let's have a look how they're seeing you. What's going on? Any energetic um messages from spirit that we can tell you today the eight of swords the nine of swords the death card is reversed oh we got a lot of uh can you see the colors here the person seems to be trapped if you or restricted that's causing them a lot of stress and they don't like it so you've got cards have been stuck twice, the death card and the eight of swords. This could actually be a physical 
not being able to get to you, by the way, with that. Or sometimes the there's some restrictions being put on your connection for some reason. The nine of swords are telling me they don't like that. They don't, they find it tormenting. They don't want what's going on to happen. Um, the nine of swords telling me, you know, if I upright the nine of swords there, it would mean that they haven't been sleeping very well. It's like they're tormented, you know. They're upset, they're tormented, they don't like this, they don't like the feeling, this is what's going on. Um, there's some fear. The judgment is telling me that they don't want to make a decision. Uh, they're scared of the unknown, they're scared of the future, they're just keeping things the way they are. They also might be in a bit of a denial here as well, but there is fear of change all over this reading and the feeling that they can't do anything about stuff. They might be physically trapped as well. Um, so is this a spread of being in limbo? They're not making any quick decisions. The Knight of Wands is reversed here as well. The Ten of Pentacles is reversed. Interestingly enough, because that's your card that's a bit, a little bit brighter, they're hoping for better times. There's too much chaos going on right now. There could be some family problems here as well. Lack of money, uh, loneliness, family problems, family money drama. You know, there could be that someone's lost a lot of money here. There's a lot of chaos. They don't, um, there's been a lot of impulsiveness. The Wheel of Fortune coming out last, I'm glad, because it means there's going to come a turning point when this will improve or your person wants everything to improve between you both. Um, there's a lot of this in this reading. It's a little bit complicated, but they seem to be really scared of things. I don't know whether they're worried, for example, that, you know, you might dump them <laughs> unless you've already dumped them here. If there's fear and nervousness and not being able to sleep and uh, there's a lot of being like they can't do anything about their situation or the situation they're hoping for better they're hoping this coming turning point where um they want to be happy you know but often the wheel of fortune can suddenly just shift in the person's favor um i feel like there could be some closure issues. So we might be dealing with people that you used to be with or haven't seen or spoken to for a little while here as well. Let's get some Oracle cards. What else can I tell you here? Okay, we've got keys on a ring, many options, decision, unconventional, string along on one night stand. Did they want more? Than a warm night stand or more than mm. you know I, the biggest feeling i'm getting is um, decision like a limbo decisions are not being made properly or they can't be made for some reason it's like not it's like everything's just staying exactly the same to me okay ah karmic Notice the karmic lessons in this situation. Was this karmic? Ah, perhaps they've been taught the lesson. Um, whoa, maybe you taught them the lesson. Uh, this could be a karmic connection then. I can I kind of sense that with the tarot cards here. It's like lessons have to be learned or lessons were learned. Okay. We've got let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. That could be advice for you or your person with that card, I'm sensing. Hmm. Okay, let's get more oracles. Let's keep going. Okay. Oh, you're mine. I get so pissed knowing that other people can have you now. Is it toxic? Yeah. I don't care. I want the world to know you're mine. Okay. They don't want you moving on. Well, I've got, I'm sorry. I hate how much I've hurt you. I'm sorry for all the pain I've caused. You didn't deserve any of it. So you've got an apology there. We've got need time to heal. Right now, I'm in a space where I need to focus on my healing and self-love. This isn't about you, it's about me. I'm pulling a few out of this because I'm, I'm sure that not all of them are going to resonate. But just take 
messages that do. And we've got father wounds. My father is a big influence on my behavior now as an adult. I have challenges with connecting to the divine masculine energy within me externally. Your person doesn't feel strong. I'm wondering if you taught them the karma, you know, the karma lesson and that's what this reading's about, like how they're seeing it's like, oh my God, you were right, you taught this person a lesson. Uh, this could be X energy that I'm seeing or somebody, of course, that you haven't spoken to. You could also be still involved massively in this because this is a, this smacks of limbo and nothing moving to me. Um, they feel very weak, trapped. There's some restrictions here. Who put the restriction on? Was it you, your person? Oh, wow. It's quite deep. This feels deep. I'm going to get one more card for you. I'm going to have a look at the confessions of a soulmate. Just now the karmic has come out a little bit here. Let's just see what this might be saying to you. Okay. We've got daydream. Okay, let's have a look. I can't get you off my mind all day, every day. I always wonder what you are doing and how you are feeling about me. Meet me in your dreams tonight so we can start making our future together in reality. I want to build a strong, solid foundation for us. Now, is this resonating for you? Let me know in this comment section. Um, let me know, yeah, let me know your situation. It's always lovely to hear from you and whether I got something, you know, spot on. So it's kind of like not big headedness, but a bit of validation, you know, that I'm doing a good job here for you all. So I hope I've helped you today. Please give the video a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel. That would be really, really nice. Turn on the notification bell. Private reading information is in the description box beneath this video. I really hope that helped you as well. Of course, if you had another person in your mind or you just wanted to do your own star sign as well, you're very welcome. If you so, if you came from your person's star sign, and you wanted to go over and pick on your you pick for your star sign. You're very welcome to pick one of the other signs as well. Thank you so much, my lovelies. Take care till next time. Bye.